What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Jerusalem Let's Play for 1212 Medieval Kingdoms. Um, in the last episode, we conquered Rhodes from the Nicene Empire. We got called into the war by um, by the Latin Empire. Um, so we have, we've we taken that. We are taking a, a negative food surplus for one turn while we, uh, we rebuild this. This meat market here. And we are also building one in... Um, uh, Acre, which will take two turns So we should be okay. We may take a little bit of attrition, but that's fine And then from Rhodes now we can either strike out and take Atalea or we could go around to take Smyrna um, I'd rather not take Smyrna. It's kind of extending our uh, line of uh, Communication a bit too far at the moment. I'd rather go back and take Atalea so we then have like almost a united sort of like sea zone around um, around Famagusta really um, I'd just like to thank, thank everyone for the support on the last two videos. It's been very much appreciated. Um, keep it up with the likes and subscribes if you are new around here to join the Papal Legion. And uh, yeah, well, let's get straight into this. So I um, quickly looked at these. We have the Holy Roman Empire has made peace with the Great the Duchy, well, the Greater Duchy, the Duchy of Greater Poland. There we go. Um, and we have a defensive alliance now with the Principality of Achaia. Um, so that's okay. I think we've not really got much we can do. Um, we could do some movement and stuff, but I don't really want to do that. We need to get some more money in as well, because we are short on that again. Um, hopefully, with roads, we can help rebuild some stuff. I'd also like to build an agent soon, but we can't build one here. I doubt we can build one really anywhere. I might want to build a tavern over here just to uh, be able to recruit an agent so I can use it. Because I want to spy on Homs, because Homs, I think, would be my first target if we go on Crusade. Um, I'm going to end the turn, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, the Ubids don't make any uh, moves towards Acre. But, I mean, if they do, then we shall defend. We, we've we got a pretty strong army now. And a good garrison. I think we have a very good chance of defending ourselves. They're going to need to send at least two, maybe three armies. Um, peace treaty with the Empire of Nicaea. That's high. Can I get a bit more money out of you? Because I've been told uh, to get more money out of people if possible. That's still high. Um, I'd like. I don't really want to have to keep fighting. I'm good for three thousand because that was still high. There we go. We've got it to three thousand. People were telling me in the comments to remember. To, uh, when it was on high to up the money and try and get a, a better deal. So that's what I'm trying to... And you'll remember to do that. So we've done that now. And that 3,000 will certainly help towards uh, rebuilding stuff and... Uh, or building stuff, in this case. So probably at roads. We're going to need to build a lot of stuff. So yes, I've been... I've read all your comments. Uh, you're probably very frustrated if you're watching the second episode uh, after watching the first and not seeing me have, like, taken on any of your comments. Because the second episode was uh, recorded so quickly after the first, so there was no time for me to obviously read um, your comments and take it, your advice on. Anyway, uh, the new Pope elected. We have Pope Gregorius, Gregorius, no, Gregor, yeah, that was right, Gregorius, the, the ninth, I'm pretty sure that is. I should know my Roman numerals, that's awful. Anyway, His Holiness the Pope has gathered up to uh, been gathered up to God, ending a fruitful chapter in church history. A new pope has been elected without a delay. This man has a chance to guide all Christendom. Few are more important or hold sway than he does. All good Christian leaders should show support to the new pope if called upon to do so. And good Christian, oh uh, yeah, basically, don't cross him or there's dire consequences. Very well. And the Seljuk pretenders have died. And the fifth crusade's ended. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh, I didn't even join it in time. Well, we'll start our own crusade if we have to, God damn it. We will have our own crusade. Uh, well, I don't really want to convert this, but apparently I'm going to have to. To a cattle herd. We'll convert it then, I guess. Um, and I'll convert this one to a... A walled city, or... I'll get a fort. I'd like roads to be a fort, I think. Um, and then I wanted to build a tavern here. So I can get... Yeah, we'll do a tavern. 
Can we have a ta city square then? A city square. So there, that's all our money spent. Population surplus of Famagusta, Emperor Nicaea, and uh, us have had a peace treaty, and we've destroyed some stuff. And a king of England. Oh, England joined the crusade. I never saw that. I don't think. Uh, Hungary Empire, Kingdom of France, Hungary, and Serbia have all made peace. It wasn't that great a crusade, guys. I mean, hardly any of the Christian kingdoms turned out. Um, but that's not good because now, obviously, now um, the Ubis can then focus uh, trying to go for me again. The Ubis have stuff all the way over here. Man, they're strong. I see him pretenders. I could just kill them, but I mean, I'm probably just going to let them just go and cause a havoc in the Empire of Nicaea. But we now have an enclave over here, if needs be, to fall back on. Um, whether I will use it is uh, probably quite unlikely. I also want to kind of get rid of all these Maronite spears um, because what am I recruiting here? What can I recruit? Minstrel spear. I guess they're not much better. I might just hold on to them and just keep this horde army until I get back to like Famagusta or um, or to Akka. Just kind of use it as a bit of a not a horde, but like there's a lot of them. There's a lot of guys in each unit. 120. Well, actually, that's the same as anyone. They should have probably more because they're pretty crap. Um, but I mean, we're a little bit closer to completing our aim now of uh, forming the uh, Empire of the Outer Rima, but it's gonna, we're still a long way off. We're only one settlement down. We're going to have to definitely take on the Ubids to certainly finish them off. Well, to finish that mission because they've got a lot of settlements. Um, I think I'll just end the turn and we'll see what happens. There's not much we can do. We are still a small kingdom, so we get through turns quite quickly. All you cowards making peace with the a Ubids. I mean, I was getting ready to join. I didn't even see any of your armies arrive over here. You got about... Well, you didn't even get halfway, probably. You didn't even leave your cities, probably. You were probably still dealing with your own problems in uh, your homelands. Okay, so the Seljuks are... Okay, the U are you bids? What are you doing? You better just be stopping off on the way to go to Homs. I offered you military access so you could just keep carry on doing this. Because you're not attacking. We are a proud people and would be proud to count you among our friends. Can I get more money out of you? They offer a defensive alliance a and a grand. Yeah, sure, we'll take that. They want a military... Okay, now everyone wants more... <laughs> there we go, can we do that? Well, you offered... You offered a grand, I'm gonna take the grand. I'm gonna take the grand. Come on. That's still high, well, okay. Now 1500? Uh. I kind of wanted it to stay high, so so they just say yes. Eh. Let's see. I might just have to take the thousand. That's which is fine. Oh no, there we go. I'll take twelve hundred off you. Nice seeing pretenders go in. That's fine. I don't really want to have to deal with them anymore. A noble birth, William. Ah, excellent. Where is he? Ah, here he is. A son. Excellent. We need more sons for. Uh, well, just generally everything. Um, you're still just not really, not really got much influence. <laughs> um, right, we could build. I wanted, oh, actually, yes, I wanted Saint Lazarus so I could get Order Swordsman. But that costs to maintain. The costs are maintaining. Hungary has declared war on the Grand Kayanze uh, of Volnia. I'm Definitely butchering that. Oh, and the Ubis are at war with Trebizond. Okay. And we've formed a load of alliances. Yep. Uh, I imagine they're just going through to sort out their war up there. Well, Trebizond are probably dead now. Um, don't really know how they're going to get to them. I guess, did Trebizond own this? No, the Ubids own everything up here as well. Okay, no, not that bit. But nearly. That's not good. <laughs> um... I really need to spy. Did we did we finish producing stuff over here? No, one more turn. 
with 3,000. I could just build an expansion here. I'm gonna... Well, it's actually... Ta yeah, we need to probably... Do I want a marketplace or would I rather have a church? I think I'm gonna have to take a church. Take a church and help sort out conversion because it's not converting, it's actually going down if anything and that's going up. So we'll convert, the ch get some churchy stuff going on. Um, can we recruit any troops? Uh, no, because we have 80, 80 coins to our name. Um, okay, well, I'm probably... I could actually get pikes in this one. There's a lot of spears. I kind of just want more swords, sword stuff, but there's no way I'm going to be able to get them. And I've been told that mercenaries and fleets aren't in the game yet, so even though I can... Oh, actually, because I don't have the money at the moment. God damn it, it doesn't prove it. But I can usually recruit a fleet. I can then recruit fleet units, and there's no mercenaries yet, which is a shame because they'd be very handy on uh, filling the ranks with more swords. But anyway, we'll end the turn. Oh no, we won't. You've got a you've got a thing. So authority, public order, govern province, eh. zeal. That's going to help with stuff. Govern province, personal influence. Uh, yeah, you can take that. Um, I guess you can take zeal as well. I could have done research, I guess, but research is coming along quite nicely. Um, what are we researching now? Oh yeah, we're researching military order fort and stuff like that, so we can get siege holdout time longer for when Akka does eventually get sieged, because it will happen. Eventually, they're going to have to go to war with me, or thought. Maybe this turn, this might be actually an army going towards me. But if it is, there's a good chance. Good luck. I mean, we've got so many cavalry units. There's no chance. They've got a few units of crossbows and spears. Yeah, I'm not too scared about that. We can deal with that quite nicely with within our walls. Um. We always remember with honor those well, we consider to be friends. Can we get a Do you not wish to thousand out of you? Let's see. Could we get a thousand out of you? I mean, you're Milan. You're pretty rich. No. Okay. That's fine, Milan. I tried. A thousand is the lowest I take now. The rates have gone up. I've got a holy land to protect. Seljuk, Sel, uh, Seljuk Nate. That's not how it works. The Sultanate of Rum. There we go. We got there eventually. And and they're moving on. Good, you bids. We don't want you to stay around here. Aleppo is undefended. I mean, most of these cities, I'm sure, are undefended. They're defending mostly like Alexandria, Jerusalem. Um, Damascus, that's where I've seen all their armies. They're kind of more than about five armies, I would have thought. So, I, I, and when I want to go to war with them, I want it to be so I can defend Akkas and still make an offensive. So, I want to be able to have two armies there at least. Maybe three, if I can get three armies. Raiding, who's raiding? Nice seeing pretenders, hey? I don't want to have to just go out there and kill you. I mean, it's really not worth it. And the Mercurius and the Ubids now at war. Okay. And Serbia's been encountered and you've gained a rank. Well, we might want to start going to war with some um, with the Ubids soon. Well, I say that because they seem to be going to war with a lot of people. And they're distracted. Um, I don't really want to do that. It doesn't really help me at all. Um, I don't actually have a lot of money um, to do a lot with. And Serbia we can now see. So let's try and get trade with Serbia. Serbia will love us. Well, sort of. And let us be honored by your Hi. Well, let's get money out of you. Let's get 900. 600. There we go. I'll take that. Uh, and then... Uh, I don't really need military access. Defensive alliance. No, they don't. Not interested in anything like that at the moment. Uh, Hungary. I imagine I can... Be welcome. Let us talk I don't have trade with Hungary. Good Roman wine when we have agreement. Ah, yes, good Roman wine. I agree. Yeah, I can't do anything there. And the Tsardom of Bulgaria, I imagine we can't Welcome, do a lot with. Because they're at war with the Latin Empire, which I'm probably just going to leave them as be then. And not do anything there. Um, oh, I can see the Crown of Aragon and the province of... Uh, and the province and the county of Provence. Oh, well, we better try and get trade with some of these guys. Welcome. Trade. Hi. Yeah. Well, let's get some money out of you for it then. Thank you. 
This is, could be me funding my uh, my go. Hi, uh, yeah, we're let's get some more money out of you. Oh, low. Um, let's just make it 800 then. Did I take all your money? No, I, I imagine I took all your money, didn't I? Oh, no, I don't want a defensive lance. I just want a non-aggression pack, please. And I will take 300 off you then. Thank you. Right, there we go. I think I probably got every penny out of your coffers, so you'll probably you use this for a turn. Welcome. Hi, Speak, let's... Friend, and hopefully later we will drink to seal our agreement. Yes, I hope we do also drink to seal this agreement. Moderate, love to see it. Lovely jubbly. Um, I don't think there's today, anything else I welcome. can do. I mean, who knows? Who be knows? Most welcome. Be most welcome indeed. On behalf of our people. No, there's nothing there that I can really do. I'm not... Gonna bother just spending money on well, spending money, trying to get them for nothing. Uh, okay, so Ferdinand's got some bonuses now. Authority, morale, yeah, let's do that. And cunning, perhaps? Yeah, we can do cunning. I mean that would actually be kinda good as well, but we'll take that one. Um why is integrity going down? Politics. Hmm. Alright, well we just need to get the straight to the integrity one then. Um, that's damaged and you're a plus one currently but I'd like to get you higher let's get a tavern going for 4,000 that's basically all my money um, can we recruit any units I imagine not uh, well we can but not great units these guys are okay but and these spears I don't really want to get more of them um, what are we producing oh yeah catholic chapel I guess, actually, yeah, we could go with a Catholic chapel. We could then get, like, Hospitalonites. Um, but that takes tax rate down. I guess I could do that. I could go down here. But I would like to actually just kind of just get the Basilica. But it costs a lot to maintain. Don't know if I really can afford that. I might, could go Catholic Priory. And then Catholic Monastery. That's not a bad idea. Then it helps with sanitation, which is a problem here. And it helps with food. And we get Catholic Catholicism up. Yeah, that might be an idea. We might go down that one. Then, because I imagine squalor is actually hurting quite a lot. Uh, buildings. Let's see, actually. Is it... How bad is the... Oh, we're massively in, like... Squalor problems. And same here. Actually, yeah, there's not much chance of an outbreak, though. Only a one uh, four percent chance. Here it's a two percent chance. But we're sorting it out. I mean, actually, we're not here, but that's not the point. <laughs> we are trying to sort it out in other places. I don't think you can have um, a healthy city, like, and making money from it. To be honest, like everywhere I've seen is in squalor problems. It's just the time. It's just the time. The Middle Ages were a bit dirty. Just a bit dirty. I mean, that's also not very true. The Middle Ages they were quite clean and whatever but yeah <laughs> I, I can assume that they they're dirty even though they're not um i don't know what else i can do um there's not anyone else i can really trade with papal states can i trade welcome, with you welcome, no my friend no I, i'm sure i i'm sure i can do some other stuff maybe not. I don't know. I still can't even see France or England. I'm not surprised. I've not really ventured this far. Um, we'll end the turn. We'll see what happens. We've got plenty of food now. 140 when we were in the minuses at the beginning of this episode. That's excellent to see. I need a battle though. I want to have a battle against someone. It might be against the uh, Seljuks. Because I think that's where I'll probably go next when Rhodes is sort of a bit more happy. I mean, a, a war with the Ubids could do quite well. I mean, I'm I'm very scared of them, but at the same time, I rate my chances uh, defending a uh, Akka. Okay, I said that. <laughs> I didn't mean I wanted you to put armies outside my cities. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I need to look and see, like, Imperium and how much, like, I need to get more armies. Because I cannot be stuck on two armies for, like, forever. Because it's making me very immobile. I'd like to have built a third army by now in Akka with 
some better units, and I can't. So let's have a look. Natural causes. Pierre has died. Oh no, that's one of my um, governors, I'm pretty sure. Pierre, no! Um, so Aka no longer has anything, so we're going to make... Oh, a scholar. Or a warrior. I'll put Francois in. Francois can be my governor here. Um, there we go. That's perfect. Oh, actually, no. What did I... I wanted this now. You can't do anything. Um, let's look. Summary. Here we go. Imperium. I'm actually very close. I'm actually... I'm insignificant. But I'm very close to going... Um, into the next one. So I should be noteworthy and impressive. I'm nowhere near the other ones. But um, we'll get there. We will get there. Um, Akka, I could get this Order Swordsman now. Or do I want to help rebuild Rhodes up a bit more? Oh, we can't actually. Rhodes is just not not, not even possible. That's not possible. Um, then I will build St. Lazarus's thingy-majiggy. Do I want St. Lazarus's or do I want Crusader Sergeant's Crusader Marksman. What does that one bring? I forgot him. Crusader Mounted Sergeants. Crusader Northman. Dismounted Crusader Knights. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with St. Lazarus's. Order Swordsman are pretty solid. There we go. We'll do that. Um, Fam Famagusta's going to get its chapel in a minute, so that's good. And then we can worry about other stuff soon. Rhodes. I could go for Atelier, I guess, but it's whether I get it. I should have gone earlier. What's garrison is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 on 18. I think I could do it, but it's whether I need, again, I'd like a spy so I can just keep an eye on what um, the Seljuk's doing, because they keep moving this army from left to right, left to right. Also, I have no idea what the heck uh, Silesia is doing. They just seem to keep moving their army all over the place. They look like they're going to have a rebellion soon with their with their army. At least this one's integrity. This one's army's integrity is high. This one is as well, actually. Now this one was just it was just a one-off. It's been resting. Food's good. Uh, I get. I don't know what the problem was then. Um, and I can't. I probably can't recruit anything good. No, or anything at all. So we shall end the turn. Oh no, we've got an edict we've got to do. Um, give me growth and commerce, etc. Because we need it. And then we can end the turn. There we go. Excellent. Get me more money from trade and commerce. We need to be as rich as possible. To fill the coffers of the Templars and whoever else just to fight the wars against the Saracens. Are they still? I guess they are still the Saracens at this point. I get that's just generally how they refer to like the Muslims. It's what are the Ayyubids doing? They've just got like a load of priests around here, but in boats. I don't think they have the. They actually aren't doing anything when they're in boats. And the Ayyubids are now marching north. I'm presuming from Trezebond. Trezebond. It's just a. It's just surviving at the moment is uh, is the aim. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that just them just being there. Mission fa Yeah, I know! Be at war. Well. Uh, defamination. Um, I'm gonna pay him off. Yeah, I imagine it's not doing any damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything else is going down. Okay, so Wallace is now at war with. The Kipchak, uh, the Cumans and the Kipchaks. Raiding, you're still raiding there, god damn it. And we've built that church. We have an edict. And we've finished our tech. Excellent, right. Um, yeah, Papal Standing might. <sighs> well, I better go to war with them soon then. Better not I? In 10 turns time, hey? In 10 turns time. I think I could be ready in 10 turns time. T 10 turns time to do it. I think. Um, I need to bring this army back. I just have to hope that Atelier just does not get too aggressive and fight roads. I don't know. 
Rose, I think, could hold itself. I'm going to probably put in a decent garrison. There'll be a decent garrison here by the end of it. Um, he says. Don't know where the decent garrison is really coming from, but eh, it'll be okay. Um, let's see, what else can we build? Um, I'd like to get. It's one of these. It said, "Yeah, let's get rid. Let's bring down civic building costs. I don't really want to have to like keep paying ridiculous amount for them." Catholic Priory was the one I wanted. So I could do it, or I could build a few more troops this turn. I think I'm going to build troops, because I've been wanting to build troops for a few turns and I've not been able to. Still can't build any more of these. I guess there's a cap or something that I can't build any more at the moment. Um, I could get some Turk poles. I have my own missile cav. Our cannon would be useful. Or I could get some pikes. They're very expensive, those pikes. Actually, so are the turkopoles. They're very, they're even more expensive. Um, I'm gonna go with the poulains. Get some dismounted poulains in this army. Pikes and spears. Um, oh, and they're gonna have a, a rebellion in Homs. Ooh, that could be a good chance to take it. So recruit there. Uh, we can't do anything else in the case of those. Um, and you are still not able to recruit. But your happiness and stuff like that is nearly sorted, so we can do that. I'm, I do. I'm sorry that I'm uh, destroying. What is it? Public order up to minus two bonus from presence of Catholic Christianity in all provinces. Well, I'm gonna go to war with them eventually. Actually, I could go for Jerusalem at this point. Jerusalem. I don't know where their armies are. I need to probably swing back round. What is Jerusalem's garrison then? Oh, that was pitiful. Yeah, we'll go to war with two turns time. I think I could bring this army back. I could bring it back now, possibly. Let's just put you outside. Outside. Outside, please. There we go. Minus 18. Yikes, actually, maybe not. Why is it so low? Raiding's one of the reasons. Immigrants, religion, instabilities, minus five, religious differences... Orthodox, Orthodox Christianity is going up as well. It's not good. Um, maybe I can't then. I could just... Uh, never, that means I've got to declare war on them. I don't want to have to do that. I get... Oh, fine. We'll declare... I don't really need to bring my allies into this one. An end to talk. The on just kill these guys off, please. There we go. They're out. They're out of the out of sight, out of mind. I could. Um, will they rebel before? Well, that's gonna put it plus four. So that's gonna make it minus fourteen. Make it minus thirteen because it's uh, instability is gonna go down one a turn. Raiding will have gone as well. I think I'll I'll be fine. I'm gonna move this. Keep moving this army. Move this army on two turns time. We're going to be at war with the Ubids. That's the plan, anyway. That is the plan. Um, if you keep come back and raid, though, I will kill you. <laughs> um, right, we will leave it that, um, and we'll see what happens. Oh, actually, no, also, surely this will have some influence on. I don't know. Actually, it doesn't really. It just helps with wealth and. Population. Actually, no, it puts public order up to plus two. So that will be also good. Provincial governor. I could assign one to Rhodes. A merchant. Yeah, sure. Let's have him in Rhodes. Um, it's a one for public order because I want public order here. Um, I'm going to empower local ruler in this region. In Rhodes. Um, just to keep it happy. Ready for order. Because it's a bit of a way from my uh, from my settlements. I'm not really wanting to... Well, my main area at the moment, If when I take that one, as I've said a few times now, we can eventually just like... this The Mayor Leventium can be ours. Um, I can't see anyone else, can I? No, I didn't think so. So, right, we're going to go to war with the Ubids in a few turns. So I would like a spy, but I can't really seem to get one. I don't know if I have to... I probably will have to recruit him as well in... Um, road, so it would take him ages to get here. Um, Pisa has called me into a war against the Hasfids. Yep, I will 
go to war with the Hasfids. I'm nowhere near them. I don't think they're going to send any fleets in my direction. If they do, they're idiots. They're fools. So, we will see what the Ayubids can throw against us. At the moment, we'll never know because... Uh, I don't know. Well, Trebizond is probably going to get its get stamped on at the moment. I mean, if I go to war with the uh, Ayubids, I'm going to drag in like people like Antioch and Silesia. So, they will may take the brunt of it to start with and I can always help them or they can help me. Um... We are not afraid um, yeah, I'll take that. I should probably check, but they I'm pretty sure they said no to me last time. Actually, no, it wasn't them that said no to me last time. Damn it, I should have taken more money off them. Infant mortality? She was nearly of age. She was my oldest as well. God damn it. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of extra people. I would like to get Henry and William of age. Please. Okay, so you will be... Docking here. Returning to, land. Returning to land indeed. Right, Famagusta. Um, yep, you do your Catholic Priory. Actually, unless. Could we have built anything here? I uh, don't really want to build a cow shed. Already, that's down to minus eight, so that's excellent. It may have a rebellion soon. Um, I don't think it sh really should. I can always build a. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Can I build him over here? Please build. Can I recruit him over here? Please stop. Oh, I can't. So I'm going to have to recruit him here. And get him all the way across. Uh, morale training or success chance. Um, or And there's no candidates currently for spies. Oh, great. Um, I'll go with natural gifted. Um, Albert will be the man to do the job. He will see it through. Um, and then... I doubt I can recruit. Yeah, I can't recruit any fleets, of course. At your command. And we cannot recruit this unit. Oh, we've already got the max for this, I wonder. Yeah, we must already have the max for this amount of troops. I don't know. One or the other. But soon we'll replace this guy with most, most of his troops. Crusader crossbow in, uh, earlier. Pretty cool, though. Um, I'll replace most of these guys and put in like some actual elite stuff. Or not elite, but actual crusader stuff. And then I'm going to go for Drusen first. Um, Holmes was was going to be the original target, but uh, I don't really want to go for Holmes. <laughs> um, just put it straight and simple, really. I just don't want to go for Holmes now. I want to take Drusen back and then see them try and take it from me. Um, and what have they got here? They've got cities, mosques, fields, and a prison. Oh. Not, yeah, not much. Um... But yes, we'll we'll end the turn actually quickly. We'll try and we'll try and get the siege of Jerusalem for the start of the next episode ready. Um, I imagine I could possibly go to war, but I don't know. We'll see. This could go all very wrong. I just need to go to war with them because I'm just going to keep going down and standing if I uh, if I don't. And I mean, I'm going to get some. The Pope will love me if I do it. And the Ayubids are out fighting other people, so I mean. It's a perfect time to, uh, to strike because if I keep waiting until they get stronger and stronger, inevitably they will come for me, and I won't be able to stop them. Abbasids, I like if the Abbasids would join in a war against their uh, fellow Muslims, but that's not going to happen. I think there's a Ubid separatists. I think I've just seen. That's what I've just seen. They might be at Holmes. There's a food sword shortage again in Accra. God damn it. Why is there a food shortage again here? Is it because of this? I mean, yeah, probably because I've just put in this. <laughs> Which means that there's going to be a lot of food shortage. Um, now, Order Swordsman. Oh my gosh, look at those guys. They look awesome. We also have Order Cavalry. I mean, Order Swordsmen don't cost too much either. God, I'd like to have some of them in that army, but I will probably put them in this army. But we shall move south. Move south. And we shall attack. Declare war. The Sheriffment of Accra. Well, we're going to go to war with you. Here we go, guys. War with... We've been joined by everyone. We have been joined by everyone. Excellent. 
we will put a ram and some ladders in place and we will take that within one turn you move within Accra now Accra actually does not is not happy if we are not uh, if we've not got an army in there not a good sign I will not lie um, so we'll probably make this a happiness one we'll probably make it a big church um, or maybe sanitation I don't know let's have a look what's is sanitation even good for a capital religion Catholic monastery it does help with sanitation, but that one doesn't. Um, could do this one. This one does plus five. That's plus ten. Um, oh, we'll see. That one possibly is a good one to get. Um, oh no, I haven't finished. I wanted to look at sanitation. Um, not industry, civic. Settlement? No. Resource? No. I'm being stupid, probably, aren't I? I can't see it. Here we go. This has got to be... No. Port. Where the heck's... Like... Sanitation. The sanitation one. Oh, I swear we had a sanitation one of our own. Maybe I'm going mad. Oh no, because don't we have to go? We have to get sanitation through the churches and stuff like that, don't we? Yes, we do. I'm going mad. Um, so we have to go. It will be religion, and it's going to be like one of these for sanitation, or it's going to be civic. I'm pretty sure this one. No, not this one. Don't really want to help Judaism out. No offense, Ju Judaism, but I need Christianity on the up. I'm pretty sure one of these helps with. Sanitation as well. Um, eh, maybe not. I mean, that's the one I'm going to go for if I need happiness. I could do that. Actually, could go for happiness and not get sanitation or a church. Um, that could be the move. My money's gone ridiculously down at the moment. Oh, yeah, we need to bring you across. Bring you across from roads. Yeah, you're slowly going down roads. Um, some growth and some money. And we can get... The brothel, which will certainly help, but a squalor will go right through the roof. A squalor is already a bit, a bit bad here, a little bit bad, um, but not too bad. I could go for a shipyard; that'd help with public order. Navy recruitment. I know we don't have navy, but I could do it just for the public order, which would be kind of hell handy right now. I might do that, um, and then. Plus seven, so we're not going to get the next one for a little bit. Growth next turn. Oh, we might get it then. I don't know. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the episode here on the Siege of Jerusalem. Um, who do we have here? It's Ferdinand with his army. With the army of the brave heroes, and they're going for Jerusalem. We are going to try and take this for ourselves. The Sunni Islam, I mean, that's 63%. We can't be having that. So we... I mean, this is a pretty pitiful defense. We can probably destroy that. What have you got? You've got some artillery inside. I don't care. We're going to take Jerusalem back. And then we could probably strike out for Damascus or Homs. Um, give, strike them as quickly as possible. And then, uh, and also while defending Akka, we could probably raise a third army. Because we'll have enough Imperium from taking Jerusalem. So, uh, that is the plan anyway. I, what can I do with you? Not much. Not really too interested. Oh, actually, can the Queen do anything? You gather support for us. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.